Hi, dear friends, cultural creatives, and seekers of new wisdom. This is Bruce Lipton here, and I am so honored today to have some very special guests. I have Christina and Roland Schutzbach from Switzerland, and these people come to us representing a new understanding about how laughter and life come together and make a happy, happy ending. Uh, their organization is really involved with the uh, Coalition of Joy. And uh, so, what is the Coalition of Joy? Would you, uh, who would like to talk about that first? Well, it's already here. We are already a Coalition of Joy. And the Coalition of Joy, of course, is in our cells. If you decide that our cells be happy, they are happy. And if you decide to be joyful, we are joyful. So it's everywhere and it's now here because we have had so good conversations before already and were inspired by all kinds of things. We have also had, talked a little bit about our lives, our stories, like uh, being a little bit uh, out of the mainstream and how... A little bit out. Of... <laughs> <laughs> That's an understatement. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so this has brought us into the coalition of joy, but also I have been in, in this uh, laughter philosophy, I call it uh, philosophy, since uh, 14 years, and I'm a philosopher, I have a, I have a doctor in philosophy, and so I have studied many serious philosophies before, and when I discovered this laughter philosophy, I went into it and have practiced it all these years, and now I think it's uh, time for the next step that these happy people who are on the planet, in all places, in India, in America, in, in South America, everywhere, somehow get together, and I'm writing a book about it, I want to show to the world that these uh, really happy people who practice it, really, they are here and they hold the focus for the future of humanity, for the age of laughter which is going to come. I love the age of laughter, and, and, <laughs> and Norman Cousins, who, uh, the, you know, the famous American, uh, uh, was he a doctor? No, he was, was a journalist, I think. I think a journalist, yes, yeah, a journalist, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, journalist. Who, uh, who was the guy who was recognized who laughed himself into wellness. Yeah, fantastic. He was given a, a terminal uh, uh, diagnosis that he was uh, on his way out and he locked himself into a room and started watching funny movies and yes. spent his whole time just enjoying himself and in the end the disease was gone. Yes. So this is really the first understanding uh, from a study point of view that humor and laughter is a very important uh, uh, influence in our physiology and our health. Yes, and it, the, the funny thing is that uh, the body then changes our mind, and the body changes our immune system. So we go, we don't, we don't start to study problems or whatever. We just go into the practice of laughter, and then the chemicals are put out, and they change our our whole system. So we feel better, we feel stronger, we are more motivated. Of course, we have more fun, and that's quite some fun to have more fun. <laughs> oh, well, that's good. And, and it's kind of fun for me to to be here with Roland because both of us had real serious professional jobs, uh, teaching and uh, being educators, and uh, both of us, uh, unbeknownst to each other, both of us walked out of our conventional world into creating a new world. And I, I'm so excited that uh, both of us have also realized that life is really outside of the box, not inside the box that we're in. 